Hey guys, Stealth here. It's episode 7 of this XCOM 2 playthrough. Now, thanks to all of your tips on what to go for and what not to do, I've also been running my own veteran Iron Man campaign parallel to this one. It's the one that I'm not recording. Because I wanted to progress through the game without having to record every single thing, which was actually quite slowing me down. But this is my, let's say, uh, YouTube playthrough. And let's see, I was working on um, alien machinery clearing here. I have my New proving grounds. Murder? Which is working on my first uh, experimental ammo. I wonder if anyone made sure Unfortunately, my only engineer, Mr. Lafayette, is busy. So I cannot exactly use him. But my main objective right now is to get more engineers. Because with more engineers, I can research stuff faster. I can clear up this debris faster. And I can actually get a lot of stuff done. Because I'm, well, I'm not too far behind. But, for example, um, I don't have a... What was it? Um, Hello, Commander. God, I completely forgot the name. Sorry about that. Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before yeah, we yeah, start okay. clearing out some of these other rooms. We should recruit an. Engineer. God, the guerrilla training school. That's what I was looking for. Sorry, that took forever. Anyway, um, don't have the space for that, and it's really something I should be researching quickly because it will help me with Commander, getting more units in my squad. That's reliant on time-sensitive information. We can always finish our scans later, but failing to take on this mission could have serious repercussions for the resistance movement. Right, okay. Neutralize the target, get supplies and get intel. Setting now, one of you guys mentioned that um, it might be Asia. good to do more than one mission per episode. The thing is, I want to keep these episodes to about 30 to 40 minutes, and some of these missions may last quite a while. Which is why I'm going to be quite careful with that. Let's see, remove, 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 and remove. I'm gonna take as many rookies as possible. Um, which is one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take Mad Hatter. Gussie 2 grins. I got Hydro. Um, let's make sure I got one sergeant that I can train up. And considering that I really like the Ranger class, Hothead's gonna go in. And finally, a Grenadier. It's always good to have a Grenadier on duty. Now, one thing that I found out is that um, you don't actually have to buy all the weapons separately like you did in the base XCOM. In the base XCOM you had to make sure that you had one laser rifle for every soldier. Right now, if you just click on magnetic rifles and the upgrades, every soldier gets the rifle. Or every soldier gets the armor that you just researched. Which is saving you a lot of supplies and a lot of headache as well. It saves you a ton of time and equipping as well. Now, the guys that I do have, I want to um, get these a bit better weaponry. I'm in the progress of upgrading these, but the magnetic weapons, I can definitely adjust these a little bit. Weapon upgrades. Two available slots. Oh crap, I don't have any available upgrades. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Uh, the one thing I don't have right now... Oh, actually, I do have one. It's a specialist. Let's see, make my utility items available. Yep. There. I want to make sure he can use his gremlin to heal my forces. The rest of them, got a grenade. This one has a bit more armor to make sure he's going to survive a little bit longer. And my grenadier, of course, has two grenades on her. I could switch this to having one flashbang. You never know. Could be handy. Diversity is always a good thing. Let's go. I'm going to skip those cutscenes a bit, because constantly seeing that thing take off and land, it's not too interesting. Also, I'm not too sure why one time it's called Sky Ranger, and the other time it's called Firebrand. They don't really seem to be consistent in that. The Resistance is asking for our help in dealing with a VIP said to be working in close collaboration with Advent forces in this region. It's likely the aliens will be providing security. We need to secure the AO and eliminate any hostile contacts nearby. Capture the VIP if possible. If not, take them down. Now, I want to try and not kill the VIP, but instead bring him in. I'm not sure if that's going to give me any bonuses, because I haven't gotten that far yet in the other campaign, or I haven't got a mission like this. It might be interesting to bring him in and see if he's going to be uh, answering any questions, let's put it that way.
Let's see. Are we starting in concealment or not? Eliminate all hostile contacts. Jesus, he's a f long way away. And there's the extraction. Are we working with a timer on this one? Opposition is concealed. Yep, 12 turns. Okay, so I have to go all the way over there. Get the VIP. I is that him? I don't know. So I have to go all the way over there. And there's already something that could spot me in here, it would seem. Right, here's what I'm going to do. Move a little bit. I'm going to try and get up on the roof. Roofs are Moving amazing to units to give you cover, as well as a lot of overwatch potential. There's probably a civilian in there somewhere. Concealed. Something else I learned, by the way. You don't really need to be too worried if your units are um, no going on Overwatch, because they will only fire if one of them has been spotted, so if concealment's broken. Whereas initially I thought, okay, I cannot use Overwatch, because if I do, and they're going to start firing, they're going to give their position away. But apparently, that was completely unnecessary. Alright, let's get up here. My voice is a bit different, by the way. It's because I'm still recovering from light flu. And whenever I get the flu, my voice completely warps. Moving out. Nothing here yet. Oh, look, I can use the entire roof here. That's beautiful. Even has a bit of paneling there. That's a bit of cover. I just don't want to go too far yet. Gabe. I'm on the move. Wait there. Uh, I can take the other flank, but the chances that I'm going to see something here are pretty significant. So I'm going to move you Let's all the way this. there. Hydro. Hothead. Wait one. Gussie two grins. Yeah, you're also going to move there. Why not? So long as I'm still in cover and not detected, I can make um, good on my progress here. I can move up pretty far without too much risk of exposure. Let's see, this is something I'm a little bit less certain of. But apparently this street is clear, so yeah, let's do it. Hothead, move up. Phantom. This guy is also going to stay concealed. Which means he might be able to do significant flanking maneuvers when the rest of them are definitely going to be exposed in a firefight. This is a, a nightmare. Look at all the terrain cover. You cannot really see it too well. A lot of high ground cover, it would seem. Alright, um, Hothead, I need you to go first. Take the lead here. Position confirmed. Nothing there yet. Nothing's warning me about contacts here either. Got it covered. Are you gonna go on Overwatch? You really have to go all the way down? That doesn't make sense. You! On the move. I'm going to be interested in seeing how well these new magnetic weapons will perform. Location confirmed. Supposedly they're going to do a lot more damage than the old ones. I think two points. But I just have two guys armed with the new weapons. Because one's armed with a shotgun and the other one's armed with a cannon. Let's do also this. known as that uh, mini gun that the guy's carrying. My grenadier. Alright. Quiet. Did you hear something? Yeah, I know there's something out there. As long as it doesn't get in my way, I'm all for it. See, now it doesn't seem that far all of a sudden. Roger that. Mad Hatter. Yep, targets. Oh shit, that's a mech. Yep. I've dealt with those things before. 
in my other playthrough. They have significant amounts of armor. Which is going to block most of the damage. Unless you shred the armor. Which means you're going to pretty much destroy the armor. Um, I'm not too sure which way they're going to go. If they're going to go this way. And I put my soldier there. He's going to get spotted. It's not what I want to have happen. If they're going to move that way. Which is what I'm really hoping for. Then I can put my soldiers there. And get ready to do an ambush on them. Even from this angle, you can get a pretty good shot. But I don't want you to fire, not just yet. Um, you're going to move here. There's even a hack we can do, but... Nah. Well, let's see. Maybe it's going to yield something interesting, like a bonus hacking to Hydro. What do you have for me? Hmm. It's a 50-50 chance. I got a 50% chance to unlock feedback. And a 50% chance to unlock a small alien comp or a small alien alloy cache. It's a 50-50. If it doesn't work, then they'll be alerted to my position. No, I don't want that to happen. Gremlin, you can come on back. I do not want to give my position away. This is way too nice of an ambush position that I have here. Um, I could rush you all the way out there. Which might not be too bad an idea, unless there's people there. Which I don't know about. Alright, for now, you're going to link up with your buddy. Also, he might not be detected, if at all. Yes, move that way. Excellent. The one problem I have with this mech, or actually one of the multiple problems that I have with this mech, Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Is that he has a grenade launcher. You can see it there on his back. The, that thing. That is going to do area of effect damage. Which means that if he fires... For example, if I put my soldiers next to each other, they're going to get hit. Both. This is slightly less dangerous, but still not exactly home free. Magnetic rifle. Um, let's see, Gus. Or Hothead, sorry. Not Gus. If I park you here. Here's the problem. I want to get that mech killed in one turn. If I put four guys on Overwatch, I got two targets. I know that the first amount of damage is going to go right into the mech because I'm going to manually control that. The rest of them. I'm not too sure. They might be able to kill the Stun Lancer, who, even on himself, is a very significant Real health problem for me. <laughs> 71 and 67. It's not great, but it's going to have to be. How about you? 89 and 89. Okay, concealed. Here goes nothing. This guy. Oh shit, Gabe does not have the capability to shred armor yet. The frag grenade does. Okay, I'm going to launch a frag at these guys. That'll also hurt that stun lancer quite a bit. And it will probably do a lot of damage to the mech. Let's hope this is going to do a lot of damage to both of them. So that they may be killed off. Four damage to the stun lancer. Two damage to the mech, one armor shredded, one armor survived. Now we're going to respond. There goes my first overwatch. That's the stun lancer. That's the mech. Beautiful! Excellent, guys. 
That is a job well done. And you're still in concealment. How about that? Alright, Bill. We still only have seven turns to free the guy and get to the extraction. So, right now I'm going to have to push up a little bit more aggressively. Which is always a problem. Because you never know what you're going to run into. Alright, I'm up here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to take this position and try to get an overwatch here. If there are, t are aliens in there, I should be able to take them out pretty easily. And all of that while uh, Bill Hothead is going to go through the front door with his shotgun. Getting ready to shoot whatever is out there right in the face. There's the VIP. Target identity confirmed. Menace 1-5. Remember, we're here to capture the VIP Capture and subdue. I then have to carry her. That is not something I'm looking forward to, because carrying someone means you have one less shooter. Alright, Mad Hatter. That's affirmative. Open up. And I'm not seeing anyone. I could go all the way over the roof with my VIP in tow. Or I could just go through this room. Hmm. I don't really like that. Here's the thing, I have to keep pushing aggressively. If I don't, then I'm not going to make that distraction in time. There's the VIP. Hothead. You're still concealed, that's beautiful. That means you're an ideal flanker. I can just look through the window without, ooh, without being spotted. Apparently, though, there's nothing in there. That's good to know. Alright, all the way in, Santiago. All the way to the VIP, and then you're gonna, you get to carry her. Mad Hatter. Move up slightly. No idea what they're doing with these guys, by the way. Just... Whoa! Viper! They have been spotted, but do they get to move, or... No, they don't get to move. Which is excellent for me. I can blow up that barrel, which is going to kill my VMP, VIP guaranteed. Or, I'm going to throw a frag. Which is not going to kill either of them. Is that a stun lancer? Yeah, it is. Fantastic. You have 53. Surely you could do better than 53. How about you? Oh, I might be able to flashbang them. Look at the size of that thing. You could just flashbang everyone. First off, Mad Hatter. Take the shot at the Viper. Five damage. Very well. Very well. Um, I could just run up to you and slash you. You're slightly out of range to get the Stun Lancer. Hmm. Okay, we're first gonna throw a flashbang here. I love how the Grenadier can use any kind of grenade with a grenade launcher. Whoa! Sectoid! 
is disoriented. There's a sectoid here somewhere. We just haven't seen it yet. That is some really useful intel. My extraction timer is running out pretty quick. Closing on target position now. Let's try and get that Viper killed. Yep, that'll do it. Kill confirmed. I hope I'm far enough away from that explosive like barrel. Something is definitely having eyes on this sector. It might be the Stun Lancer. It might be something else entirely. I just don't know yet. Okay, Bill, you're gonna go all the way up to the roof. You're my secret weapon. There's the sectoid. I'm almost thinking he's in a different room. Yeah, right. I guess disorientation isn't what it used to be. Four turns to get all the way there with a VIP in tow. That's a pretty tall order. Wilson. I might not do enough damage. Three to five. Okay. Let's open up this door. Because we're going to run through that in about a minute. Maybe less. You. What? That? Great. Oh, actually, no, that's good. You're gonna move here. Get the stuff. Delirium core. Got some goods here. Then you're not gonna shoot the VIP, you're gonna shoot the stun lancer. Or not. Still moving. Jeez, because that guy was so well concealed. Come on. All right, we're going to have to flank him with Hydro. 85%. Can you kill him? Yep. Good kill. Target eliminated. Good. My ammo's running low. Yeah, well, so be it. You. Run up to my VIP. Knock her unconscious. Subdue. <laughs> Doesn't have to be subtle, it just has to work. Target package in custody. Alright. Wilson. I'm on the move. If I can ignore that sectoid, I will. Because right now he's more trouble than he's worth. What's in that room? I don't really know. Hmm. Well, he's still concealed. Oh dear, there it is. Two targets. Sectoid. Here's the sectoid. Shit. And apparently they can walk through doors now, like that. Looks like they called in backup. Oh shit, this is all going Menace to hell right quick. Up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Menace 1 5, hostile interceptors are on high speed approach. Your window for extraction is closed. Yeah, tell me about it. Alright, I'm gonna have to do something like bounding overwatch, which means pick up my target and then start running towards the extraction. Let's do this the easy Hopefully. Way. I can at least damage some of the guys along the way. And of course that evac marker is slightly 
to the southwest of the um, incoming troops. I can be there in two turns with the VIP in tow. You're coming with me. Look at that. That's a real badass. Climbing a ladder. Actually hopping up a ladder. With a... I don't know. 60 kilogram woman in tow. Reasons. You. We're almost out of ammo. I see that becoming a problem. Sometimes running away is the better part of valor, I believe the phrase is. Well, let's go with Soon Tzu for this one. There. Know when to fight and when not to fight, and you'll always be victorious. Or rather, you'll survive. <laughs> Hopefully. Hotheads! I'm gonna need you to prepare a surprise for these guys. Eventually. Yeah, that's... Oh. We'll get spotted by something. Great. Fine, you're okay. just gonna have to move here. It's not far. Conceal. The now. one thing I'm worried about is that Stun Lancer racing after me and stunning my forces. If he does that, we're in trouble. Move. Stun Lancer. Possible officer. Just two. Oh, two Stun Lancers. And an Advent Trooper. Well, that's different. Oh, shit. What am I doing here? Shit, he's disoriented. It's not the end of the world. It's just gonna be. Uh oh. That could be the end of the world. Oh, he's killed. Sorry, two grins. Guess that's more likely to be no more grins at all. What are you guys gonna do? Please don't tell me it's Overwatch. I just wanna get the fuck out. This is gonna be one hot extraction. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're there. Fine. Do what you will. Bye. VIP secure and in position for evac. Definitely not going to stick around here for long. Especially not with all of my forces. I would love to get that stuff. That Illyrium core. But I just cannot risk it. I have one sectoid. Three stun lancers. And an advent trooper on me, and I already lost one shooter. I sent one shooter home, so I'm gonna just evac the entire team. Because, let's face it, I got what I came for. I got the intel, or at least I got my VIP. And I'm pro oh, oh, you're just spotting me. Wilson had a very quiet mission. I hope I'm gonna be able to extract some intel from uh, my bad VIP. Alright. Killed four out of nine, lost one soldier. Meh. This is interesting, by the way. Um, I'm gonna hit caps lock. You can see the game. And then all of a sudden you're done. It's... It's a really weird... I don't know if it's a bug or it's a... Left behind dev tool or anything. But for some reason, hitting caps lock... On the return screen... Is gonna speed it up very, very quickly. It's gonna cost, or it's gonna save you a lot of time. Well, sorry, two grins, but you didn't survive. Squaddy has been promoted. We're gonna go with medical protocol here because I want to get more healing done. The other guys are all active, healthy, and looking good. So we got Kerry Nichols here. Hello, um, Commander. 
Allowing us to gain some important intel. Excellent. Good. That was nice. Commander, we still have a supply drop waiting. Yep. I'll get to that. Members have brothers reports I'm going to investigate. We can get an engineer. Not now. I got the supply drop there. Supplies is always a good thing to have. Or I can go to Stockade and get an engineer. Hmm. I have a 123 intel. Which is enough to get to the black market and get something else there. But not the day. Alright, I'm going to cut the episode here. More missions and probably more scanning to be done in the next episode. For now, I hope you enjoyed that mission. Um, Gussie, sorry you died. There was not really that much I could do. I think I played the mission quite safe. And unfortunately, that stun lancer disoriented and all was still able to hit him and then finish him off later. Anyway, with that, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next episode.